Let's just do another thermodynamic problem involving entropy, uh, this one involving an isentropic turbine. The accompanying table provides steady state data for steam expanding adiabatically with a mass flow rate of four pounds mass per second through a turbine. Kinetic and potential energy effects can be ignored. Determine for the turbine, A, the power developed in horsepower, B, the rate of entropy production in horsepower per degree R, and C, the isentropic turbine efficiency. So let's uh, look at this problem. We've got a schematic of a turbine here. We have uh, steam flowing through it, coming in at state one and exiting at state two. Um, we have a mass flow rate of steam flowing through the turbine of 4.0 pounds mass per second. Now, rather than having to go look up a bunch of stuff in tables, uh, a lot of information was given to us. Here's the pressure, temperature, internal energy, enthalpy, and specific entropy at the inlet condition of state one and at the exit condition state two. That'll save us a bit of work having that uh, presented right here. But I would also like to know uh, the phase of each of the two states. Now, the incoming steam state to a turbine uh, should be, of course, superheated. But it's possible that the exit state uh, could be either superheated or it might be a saturated mixture with a high quality. So let's look at this. Um, we can go into the water saturation table at uh, 140 PSI, that's the inlet. And uh, we get a saturation temperature of 353.8 degrees Fahrenheit. But our temperature is 1000 degrees. So T1 is greater than the saturation temperature. So um, state one is superheated, which is what we expected it to be. Now, state two, uh, uh, if we look in the saturation uh, table at 2 PSI, the saturation temperature is 126.04 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, T2, which is 270 degrees Fahrenheit, is greater than the saturation temperature. So state two is also superheated. So let's draw a temperature entropy diagram. Um, state one is on our 140 PSI uh, constant pressure line. And the saturation temperature at 140 PSI is 353 degrees Fahrenheit. And state one is at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. So I wanna plot state one right here. Now state two is on a two PSI constant pressure line, this line here, and the saturation temperature for um, at two PSI for water is 126 degrees Fahrenheit. And state two is at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, so that locates state two here. Now notice that the uh, entropy at state two is greater than it is at state one. Uh, state one entropy is here, state two entropy is here, and we do expect that the entropy to be greater because being a, a real process, uh, this, this process uh, has irreversibilities in it that produce entropy. So the next thing we wanna do is plot um, the process for the isentropic turbine. So what is an isentropic turbine? It is, uh, it's a turbine that we can only imagine it, has an, uh, it follows an isentropic process. And remember an isentropic process, uh, there's no change in entropy, so S1 is equal to S2. Uh, it's adiabatic and it's uh, reversible, so there's no entropy uh, production within the system. So the process uh, for an isentropic uh, turbine would be this uh, from state one to state uh, 2S and state 2S still has the same final pressure as the actual um, process, but uh, S2S is gonna equal to S1. So this is a vertical line. Now, this process uh, might end here in the superheat region, or it might end here in the saturated mixture region. I'm gonna show it as uh, a saturated mixture. The fact is I've already done the calculation to show that I just haven't shown it to you yet, but we'll get there and you'll see that uh, 
state 2S is indeed a saturated mixture state. We're going to model this as an open system operating at steady state. We're ignoring any uh, changes in kinetic and potential energy. And the uh, process was given as an adiabatic one. So uh, the heat transfer between the turbine and the surroundings is zero. And we want to find the uh, power produced by this turbine in horsepower. We want to know what the rate of entropy production is in horsepower per degree R. And we also want to know what the isentropic uh, turbine efficiency is. So let's write an energy balance for the actual process. We can say that dEdt is zero because it's operating at steady state is equal to Q dot minus W dot plus M dot times H1 minus H2 plus the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. Now we're ignoring the kinetic and potential energy terms. And um, this is an adiabatic process, so Q dot is also zero. So our energy balance simplifies to just uh, that W dot is the mass flow rate times H1 minus H2. Well, all of these values were uh, given in our uh, uh, table of input values. We had a mass flow rate of four pounds mass per second. H1 had a value of 1531, and H2 had a value of 1181.7 BTUs per pound mass. So I can calculate by multiplying all these together that the uh, power output of the turbine is 1397.2 BTUs per second. But I want that in horsepower, so I'm going to change uh, seconds into hours. There's 3600 seconds in an hour. And there are 25, uh, 45 BTUs per hour in horsepower. So this gives me a power output for this turbine of 1976.4 horsepower. Now I'm going to write an entropy balance. That, and again, this is for the actual turbine process. I know that the rate of entropy production is just can be written as the mass flow rate times the change in specific entropy minus the summation of Q dot over T. But this is an adiabatic process, so um, this summation term uh, is zero. And we just end up with that the rate of entropy production is the mass flow rate times S2 minus S1. Well, these values were given in the input table. So the rate of entropy production is the mass flow rate, four pounds mass per second, times S2, which is 2.0199, minus S1, which was 1.8827 BTUs per pound mass R. And my final step is just to convert this, uh, this answer that I calculated. Um, the rate of entropy production is 0.54488 BTUs per second per degree R. And again, I'm going to convert that into horsepower using the same conversion factors I did in the energy balance. And I get the rate of entropy production for this process is 0 0.7763 horsepower per degree R. And of course, this is uh, a positive uh, entropy production. Of course, it must be for this real process to take place. So now let's calculate the uh, isentropic turbine efficiency. And what that is, it's just the actual performance of this turbine divided by its performance were it undergoing an isentropic process. Now remember, an isentropic process is an idealized process. Uh, we can imagine it as a lemon state. We can't actually build it. But recall that isentropic means that it's reversible. So there are no irreversibilities in the uh, process. Uh, there's no entropy production. There's no heat transfer. And the, it's a constant entropy process. So this efficiency allows us to look at the real performance of a, of a turbine and compare it to its highly idealized form. And the equation for that is uh, the actual performance is given by H1 minus H2, and the isentropic performance is given by H1 minus H2S. 
Now, the uh, second state in this isentropic uh, process is going to be is called state 2s. And the pressure at state 2s is the same pressure as state 2, which is 2 psi. And its uh, uh, second variable that defines uh, its state is that S2S is equal to S1. In other words, the isentropic process includes the characteristic that the entropy between state 1 and state 2 is constant. And so S2S is going to be S1, which is 1.8827 BTUs per pound mass R. Now, I'm going to go to the saturation table here at 2 psi. And I find that uh, uh, the uh, values of S sub F and S sub G and H sub F and H sub G, I'm going to need all of these uh, to calculate uh, this value H2S. I have H1 and H2. Those were in my uh, given table. But I need to calculate the um, uh, enthalpy of state 2S. And sure enough, we can see here uh, that uh, given the value of S sub F and S sub G, and knowing that the uh, uh, entropy of the state 2S is uh, 1.88, that is in between these values of S sub F and S sub G. So sure enough, S sub F is less than S2S, is less than S sub G. Yes, this is a saturated mixture. Now with that known, then I can find the quality of state two. It's just S2S, minus S sub F over S sub G minus S sub F. All those values are readily available to us and I calculate the quality at state uh, 2S is 0.9787. Now we can calculate the enthalpy at state 2S. Uh, H2S is just H sub F plus the quality at state 2S times H sub G minus H sub F. And again, we have all those values. So from our saturation table. And I calculate that the enthalpy at state 2S is 1094.37 BTUs per pound mass. Now I can calculate the isentropic turbine efficiency. It was just H1 minus H2 over H1 minus H2S. With all those values known, I calculate that the isentropic turbine efficiency is 80%. That is to say, that the efficiency of the actual uh, turbine process that we analyzed is 80% that of a turbine undergoing an isentropic or imaginarily perfect process. So we're achieving 80% of perfection uh, with this turbine cycle.